so as you can see, it is dark out here. See all the cars on the beach? Can't see Joey, because she's too dark. But first day of razor clam season. Um, let me turn on the light. There we go. Clam guns. Joey, say hi, Joey. Hello. And uh, you can see the ocean's out there somewhere. We're going to give it a shot. Okay, so we're on to some couple of clams here. Right on top of each other. Check that. There he is. There he is. First one of the season. Hold him up a little lower. Bring him closer. There he is. Okay. Nice one. That's All right. I'm going to get the next one. Here. They were right side by side. All of a sudden, the hole just appeared. Ah! I lost the hole. Oh, there he goes. All right, got him. He is right. There he is. First clam. Not a big one, but he'll work. So we got one each on the same spot. Wait for this tide to go out a bit. Oh yeah, something new this year. Got these little beads. You, uh, every time you get a clam, you pull one bead down. That way, you don't lose count. See one? I think so. All right, let's see what she's got. It's slowly getting light out, very slowly. Watch the water, let it go past. You can barely make Joey out there in the, the darkness. Maybe not. No? Okay, I'm into my second clam here. I think I just heard him. I got him now. All right, let's see what comes up. Oh. No, nope, that's not him. He'll be in the hole then, huh? Let's see. <clears throat> These waves would behave. Sand dollar. Oh, there he is. I just missed it. Okay, this time I got him. Ooh, he's a nice one, too. He's a chubby one. I'm sinking. I'm sinking, sinking. There he is. He's a nice, chubby one. Look at that fat one. I knew he was there because I I saw the hole all of a sudden appear. Two. So here I'll give you a view of the people digging down the beach. Some still have lamps. Starting to get slowly get light out. We went from over there, the cars over there in the fog somewhere. You can see more people arriving all the time. There's Joey. Right, I can see you now. Don't shine your light at the Shine it down. <laughs> Point it down. There you go. There's Joey. <laughs> okay, so we got one here. I'm waiting for these waves to go back. I'll show you what the hole looks like. Maybe. There we go. Oh, I lost him. He's right here. Let's see if I can get him. This is a good size one from what I saw. There he is. See him right there? Oh, get him for the waist there. There he is, right there. Another big chubby one. Right there. 
and into the bag he goes. That's number three for me. They're just kind of showing up on their own. So as you can see by my little count thingy here, there's four beads. I got four clams. Well, clam number five. He's a big boy. Tough showing. Tough digging right now because uh, the tide's on its way back in early. Okay, well, Joey's got her limit. <laughs> Hold him up. Nice. She dug in the in the hard sand. I was down on the surf. I got six. Anyway, good job. So, 13 clams. Two more for limit. So we're gonna go get them. Okay, well, we got our, both of our limits. Joey put it to me today. And uh, it was a little tougher digging. Tide's on its way back in. A view of the beach. Here's uh so I can get them up here. My limit of clams. Hard to tell on that. Anyway, we're done for the day. Time to go eat, huh? Yeah. Been on the road since 2 o'clock this morning. And there's now, what, probably about 7.30? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we're done. Talk to you soon. Alright, so we're going to go over and head our, clean our clams over to the cleaning station over here. There's a couple of guys here that are cleaning some fish. We'll go see what they got. Looks like they did pretty good. They said since you guys' hands are dirty, you'll do the clams too? What's that? They said since, since your guys' hands are dirty, you'll do the clams too? Yeah. Looks <laughs> yeah. like you did pretty good out there. Yeah, we did well. What were you using? Clam mix. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's always best. I hate to give them up though. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> you were just right out here? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we limited out on clams this morning and then we yeah, we limited out on clams, but then I was like, you know what? I'm hungry. Yeah, no joke. <laughs> I've been on the road since 2 o'clock this morning. Okay. From? from Seattle. Oh, yeah. And uh, actually, I'm north of Seattle, north and east. Sure. Granite Falls, but. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, okay. Yeah. It was a uh, long drive. <laughs> Good to get out of the smoke, though, huh? Yeah, that's the truth. Okay, so we're going to clean the clams. It's our cooler. There's 30 clams in there? Yep. And uh, see what, uh, how long it's going to take us forever, huh? All right, so there's our first eight clams. See those couple of ones on the right there, pretty nice size. Are you ready? I think so. All right, there's your knife. Little knife. Oh, wait, the knife's for me. The knife's for you. Sorry, my bad. The, um... Yeah, we had two knives last time. Yeah, I think it is. I don't have two knives this time. What? I'm cleaning that one and I'm going to rinse them out on this one. It doesn't matter. I'm just opening them up here. So, just take that and break the shell open. Pull it apart, don't break it open. Be careful with these shells because they, when they crack like that, they got sharp edges and they will cut you good. Are we the feet separate? Are we doing the feet? You want the feet? Yeah. I suppose. You don't have to. Mm -hmm. One. Cut 
get that membrane there so you can get your fingers in there and then if you just pull you can really open that shell up and just grab and pull the whole part should come out you use the feet for the raised for the clam chowder I mean That's what we did when we went to Willow Lake. We'll just put it all together. It's up to you. Sometimes these shells are really soft. Not soft, but delicate. And they break easily. Like that one. Okay, so I'm going to take one of these bigger ones. Is there water coming in here? There isn't, is there? There we go. Oop, easy. Alright, let's just cut the off a little bit. Get them all rinsed off. And so what you do is you take the knife and these. I call them the wings because that's what they look like. Start slicing up that right along the zipper, they call it. Kind of hard, these gloves make it slippery. And then what you do is what I do I'll just thread the knife up the siphon. Oh, gotta cut this off, cut off the, uh, the tip. You do need to sharpen those knives. I know. I said my knife sharpener is. I'm gonna use those for bait. Use that siphon for uh, bait for surf fishing, like those guys were doing. And I just open that up. Do the second one. The siphon has two two ports. One intake, one outtake. And then what I do is I will cut that membrane right along that to kind of open it up. Some guys take the whole stomach and everything. I don't. I use it for bait. And then just clean out those gills. Rinse off. Here, hang on a minute. As you can see. And then what I do is I will take that foot and just cut that foot. I think they're slippery with gloves on. And then I'll stick the knife down the foot and better butterfly it out like that too. So, what do you want me to put these over there? Yeah. All right. And then this becomes bait, either crab bait or um, surf surf fishing bait. So anyway, that's how I clean the clams. Well, I don't know if you can tell, but the rain has arrived. We got thunder going in the background. I'm down to my last four clams here, and uh, I was hoping to get it done before it rained, but it's not going to happen. I put the rain gear on so my sweatshirt wouldn't get wet, and now I'm glad I did because I don't want to get wet. So I'm going to finish this up. You can see there we got one, two, three, four bags of clams, seven in one eight in the others and uh, that way when you go to cook them up you're not cooking 15 clams at once after you pull them out of the freezer you can freeze them you know in meal sized pouches so anyway it's raining now so I'm gonna sign off thanks for joining us on this dig and we'll talk to you later okay this is our campsite um, sleeping in the back of the van tonight and then uh, tomorrow we go digging we are at Ocean City State Park we're gonna take a tour well we're gonna go for a walk anyway
these campsites are all kind of they're not the biggest because they're not full there are no hookups at all and uh, tents and stuff like that so this is the day use area at the park they got a little group picnic area there they have a picnic area there and then on the other side of the bushes over there is the beach you can hear the ocean roaring That's so this is the trail going back to the beach it winds through the scrub pines here so you can hear the the surf in the distance over there there is a little stream that you used to have to cross up here it's been so dry it might be dry enough to not get wet so there you can see the ocean a little better pan out this way off in the distance you can see the Quinault Beach Resort and Casino where we had breakfast this morning after digging clams Anyway, we are just north of the town of Ocean Shores, which is over that way. So this is what sort of what we were looking for this morning. You can see the two holes where the clams are starting to put their necks up through. So here's another clam show that, uh, ah, that's what they look like, little donut holes. Got chased away. And then the water comes in and buries them again. You usually have to pound the surf to get them to show. When you pound the surf, it disturbs the hole. See, here's another one that's coming up right here. Right there. There he is. That's called a clam show. Okay, here we are, day two. Razor Clam COVID edition. Got the van here. Joey's ready to rock. Ready to go. We're going to the beach down there. You can see all the people. A lot more than yesterday. So we're going to go see what we can do. Okay, on the way to the beach. We are. We are at Roosevelt Beach. One of the beaches in the area that Fish and Wildlife for recognizes as mock rocks. We are north of the Copalis River and south of the Moclips River. It's about 10 miles in each direction. And we're on the move. Yep. So Joey's into it. I hope so. Should be. Yeah, at least the sand's soft, right? Yep. Oh, there he is. There he is. <laughs> big, big one? Yeah. Thought so. Yeah, I see it right in front of you. There he is. Ooh, nice. Hold him up for the camera. Number one. Number one. Nice. There's another one. You can see the show. Right there. Point it out for me, will you? Right there. Big one. There's a big one right there. Alright, there's a couple more here. I'm going to go start digging. Whoops, drop my glove. Don't get wet. my glove on here and we can Let's see here there he is right there not as big as the one Joey got but chubby 
Not as big as the one you got, but he's chubby. There's one. Going for number two. Right next to it. Huh? Yep. You want to push that one down further for me over there? Let's see. Oh, what happened? Okay. So we're getting close. Oh, there. I think I just felt great. The problem is, is that you get so much water in there. There he is. Which one did you say? Right here. There you go. You can get him. I got this one over here. Yep. They're showing good today. Ooh, I'm just starting to get to him. Where'd you go? There he is. Oh, he's tiny. Not tiny, but not big. Clam number two. All right. Did you get him? There's another one right there, yeah. These guys are going down. Pretty yes. deep. Here, you plug the hole. You ready? Yeah. Got the hole plugged. Ugh. Oh, a lot of water. Oh, he let go of it. He's still there. There he is. See him? Grab him right there. There he is. As soon as the pressure released on that hole, you could feel it give way. Right there. Okay, I've been at it for about 10 minutes. I got eight clams. You can see my bead counter here. Eight clams. It's a lot of work. And they're kind of small. Let's see if we can find some bigger ones. Okay. He's starting to dig back. Yeah, those are uh, three clams. Nine, 10, 11. You can see the different sizes. You can see the one trying to dig back into the sand there. Fish and Wildlife says they won't do that. But they do. Anyway. That's 11 so I got four more. So one of the things you find out here at the coast. Is molted crab shells. As they get bigger their shell. They outgrow their shells. And they molt them and you find them. Alright I hear you. You got one over there? I'll come. Joey tweaked her shoulder, so I get to do all the pulling. If you look down the, if you look down the beach, you can see where everybody's been digging, all the holes. Looks like it's been shelled by the Navy, all the way down as far as you can see. Craters. So Joey's going to do a count of her clams. How many you got? 13. 13? 14. 14. So one, one more. And then you're done. So I got into a clam. And the waves came. Three of them. So now I get to wait them out. That go out a little bit. So I can get them before those get here. I don't think those are going to make it here. So let's see what we can do. Oh, here it comes. Yeah, the second one's going to make it in. Uh, that's one thing about digging in the surf. Sometimes you got to wait. Especially since the tide's right at low tide. So it's going to start turning here in a little while. Then we'll find ourselves back up the beach. Joey is over there on drier sand looks like she's into one there she tweaked her shoulder so I'm doing all the pulling Let's see what we got over here 
Let's see here. Come on, come on, come on. Before that wave comes. There he is. Uh, about the same size. About the same size as the other one. That's number 13. 12. Number 12 for me. Okay. We're going to do a count here. See what we got. I don't. That doesn't look like 15 to me. Does it look like 15? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Maybe you lost? 14 in the bag. Maybe the one that I found was one that came out of your bag. It might have been, yeah. One. So you can get that one back there. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, I guess I got 15. There's my limit of clams, 15 clams. So we're done. So we walked basically straight up the beach into the fog. And what's laying straight ahead of us but my car in a straight line. Well, as straight as you can walk in fog with no reference points but how good is that gps is working my gps not the cameras <laughs> it uh today was a lot of work sweating like crazy i shouldn't have worn a sweatshirt it did not rain you could visibility was probably i don't know five six miles when we first got here but now it's <laughs> closed in. Nice thing is it's not dark. Anyway, we, uh, we're good for now. It's probably what, 9.30? I'm guessing. I say 9 o'clock. No, because we didn't get here till 8, 15 maybe? 8, 10, 8, 15. Alright, I didn't notice. We'll see who's right. There's the grandpa mobile. Take this stuff around the back. You can see my setup with the bike rack to uh, carry the guns on. So, let's see what time it is. Yeah, we've got phone. Handy. Oh, here we go, moment of truth. Okay, you have to do it with my gloves. 9.30, 9.27. I didn't look at the clock when we got here. What did I say? I said 9.30? Yeah. Yeah. But I didn't look at the clock when we got here. Yeah. So well, that's not my fault. Yeah, it is. All right. Say bye, Joey. Bye. See you next time.